Okay, so I woke up and God said, check your phone. And it was 5.55 a.m. <laughs> uh, my bo my twin was born. Um, when he was born, it was 5.55 a.m. Okay, so first of all, it starts off with that. Then I have an email from a soul sister, so I checked that. And there's a link to a video from Brian Cooper that I'm currently watching right now. But as he starts to talk about something it triggers me to remember part of my dream last night, which um, was just a reminder of the shamanic experience that I had about 20, I was 19 and I'm 40 now, so, and I'm going to be 41 in January, so over 20 years ago. And the giant red dragonfly came to me. And nobody else saw it, it was just me. And I felt, the wind moved from its wings. I heard it like a helicopter in my ear. It, it was huge. Okay. And people just thought, oh, I'm hallucinating. And well, yeah, okay. We were tripping on acid, granted. Um, <laughs> but this experience was very real. Okay. Um, and if anyone knows about like DMT and psilocybin mushrooms, um, the DMT thing about the ego death and um, it opens you up to the spirit world and you s there is no veil. You see everything, past, present, future, all the layers, all the way to the core, in and out. So and this is not a recommendation for anyone to go do that. I'm just sharing my personal experience, okay? So don't anyone get it twisted out there. Just listen, okay? Don't take it for anything else than what it is. So as I'm watching this video and he's talking about DMT and stuff, I flash on a part of my dream last night and go, oh my God, that's right. I dreamt of the giant red dragonfly. It flew right past me and I had the same experience. I heard the fluttering in my ear like it was a helicopter. I felt the cool breeze from it, from its flapping its wings. I felt the air movement on my cheek. So I just had to share that because I wouldn't even have remembered that if I didn't, um, watch this video so I just wanted to if she's watching this thank you soul sister I won't mention her name but um just for you know out of respect but oh my gosh my soul family I'm telling you you guys are awesome I love you guys so much I love each and every soul um you guys are just such a blessing to me so yeah if I wasn't watching that I wouldn't have triggered that wouldn't have I wouldn't have been triggered to remember that part of my dream. And that was very important. Um, that's only the second time in my life that it's visited me. Okay. And since I don't do psychedelics anymore, I, I have no need to, um, I don't even use cannabis. So, but, um, that's the only way it would come to me would be in my dream. And it came to me last night. And then I woke up at five fifty-five. And if she hadn't sent me that link for that, video from Brian Cooper talking about the chakra system removal uh, I would not have remembered that so I am so grateful thank you so much if you're watching this you know who you are oh I love everybody blessings to you all and peace be upon you all <laughs>